it's your old pal Jordan the Lion coming to you live from Guanajuato, Mexico. Let's go explore some more of the city, shall we? So let's wander into some of these underground tunnels. Like I said, these all used to be, um, they were originally like mining tunnels for the silver mines. And then they ended up just uh, turning the underground into the, uh, the car section where all the cars can drive. Remember I mentioned Coco yesterday? All right, we're gonna try this again today. Looks like they're letting people in. We're gonna find out. Here's another fantastic Don Quixote. Now at some point today, we want to make our way all the way up there to that statue. He has a great story. I want to stop in here because I saw this big Frida Kahlo I want to check out. And they used to call Guanajuato the land of the frogs. So you'll see a lot of frog imagery here. Not in this, but look at this carved chair and desk or table. Wow, that is cool. Well, we made it to our next destination, which is the Basilica Collagiata, or also known as the uh, our Lady of Guanajuato Basilica. And what's cool about this is that this is a, uh, of course a Baroque building, you can tell just by looking at it, but they have a, um, a Virgin of Guanajuato statue in here that was donated by Philip II, and it's dating back to the eighth century. So I'm kind of interested to go in and take a look at that. Wow! Now I'm gonna switch lenses. But right there in the dead center, right there, is the Virgin.
also not mentioned anywhere online, this statue of Pope John Paul II. I love the architecture to this. Oh yeah, and by the way, Guanajuato is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So I just bought this shirt because we're going to the Mummy Museum of Guanajuato tomorrow and it only cost me $7.50. If I was ever going to buy a mask, I'll probably buy it. I'm absolutely loving this place. I'm loving Mexico so far. Well, I did it. For five bucks, I'm now the proud owner of my first luchador wrestling mask. <laughs> and like I mentioned, we're going to go see the Mummies Museum tomorrow and that's what that is. My thought was, if I'm gonna get one, and I'm gonna get it here, I want it to be real Mexican, like real Mexico. So I think, I think I got one. Not bad for like 550. Well, this is interesting. By the way, since, like I mentioned yesterday, this city is kind of in a bowl shape, like a cereal bowl. A lot of stairs here. I just haven't had to take any yet, but they go all the way up the side of the hills. So now we're heading off to the Alley of the Kiss, and I'll tell you the story about that when we get over there. So I assume by how many people are walking up and down this, this is where it's at. Callejón del Beso, Alley of the Kiss. You'll notice how long that line is. The reason everybody's here is because the legend of the Alley of the Kiss is that there was a, uh, a boy and a girl who lived right over there, across from each other, and they were forbidden to see each other by their parents. So there's a red step, it's painted red, that everybody stands on because one day the girl's father came out and caught them kissing, went nuts, and told them if he ever caught them again, he would kill her. The next day, he found them kissing up in those little balconies across from each other where those, you can see those, uh, how close they are right there. They were caught kissing there. Her father came out, stabbed the daughter and she died in the boy's arms apparently. And so now they say that couples for some reason are supposed to come here and kiss on that step and it will give them seven years of good luck. So that's why there's always people over there taking photos and kissing underneath the uh, the balconies right there. And you can see the people up there, that's how close it really was that they could have kissed. You see that? And it looks like somehow you're able to, uh, to get up there to do that. But like I said, there's really no point in me doing it because I came alone. And right there you can see that one red step right there. So now we're heading off to the uh, the childhood home of Diego Rivera, the artist, and they actually have some of his lesser known paintings there. Tupac? So we haven't really had the issues with the cobblestones like I normally do, so that's been good. They have mainly rocks and big square cobblestones. Look at all the faces up there. Well, we found it. Childhood home of Diego Rivera and now museum. So right there you can see it was opened in 1975 as an official museum. 
So the first of the three floors here is all the furniture and the way the house would have been furnished. The parlor room and sitting room. Pretty cool light fixture too. So the first floor is all the furniture and the living quarters and then the second floor is all of his art. Well not all of his art but the art they have is in there. <laughs> Take a look at this room. Brass bed and crib and rocking chair. Wow, real old typewriter. Indoor fountain, pretty cool. Now let's head upstairs. That's kind of cool. They put Diego and Frida up there together. We'll match up this picture on the way out. We've already been to that fountain. See right here is where we just saw that picture of Diego and the whole family standing here. That was pretty cool. I was a little bummed that they tell you um, they don't allow pictures on most of the second floor, so most of his art that was here I couldn't show you, I'm sorry. But it was still well worth it to get to see his childhood home. Would have been right here where that photo, actually we saw two or three photos of the dedication day and Diego standing right there. And one of the photos alone and then a couple other photos with other people. You can see this door on the side and everything, but Pretty cool. Now, for any of you that may not know, Diego Rivera and Frida Kahlo were married. They were together and uh, she sacrificed a lot for him. And so we're going to, when we go back to Mexico City, if we have time, we're gonna go to her place, her museum, the Frida Kahlo Museum. So his house was a big, big place. His family must have been well off in some way because that whole red building is his. It was four floors. Take a look at that. How picturesque is that right now? And there's one of the main traffic tunnels in and out of the city. This is really cool. The Taberna de Diego y Frida. And then look, both of their images are in that silver.
So this tunnel sign is kind of cool to see because Guanajuato has changed its names many times over its history. And at one point it was actually named uh, the Ciudad de Santa Fe y Real de Minas de Guanajuato, which meant the, noil, meant the noble and loyal city of Santa Fe and the real mines of Guanajuato. It's kind of cool to see one of these old remnants left. Oh yeah, it doesn't get much better than this view. It really, really doesn't. Where I'm heading to now is actually a bar. I'm gonna go to a place called Barfly. They have a uh, some sort of special drink there that I've been recommended, so I wanna go try it. Looks like they're having a little book fair over here by this fountain. Plaza de Los Angeles. Here's a little bit of culture shock for me. Four times people have asked if I was a YouTuber when I said yes, they go, wow. I think anybody can start a YouTube channel, can't they? I think the drink that I'm supposed to get is, uh, is called pulque. I'd say we found it. And that's what we want. Oh, what a killer entryway. <laughs> Totally my style. Pretty empty, but that's good. What a fantastic view. Fantastic! Okay, apparently they have two kinds. They have a natural and a mango, so I got the mango style. So when it's all said and done, my bill should be about $3.50, probably. Wow, that quesadilla is maybe one of the best ones I've ever had. It's marina marinated carne. So I think I'm gonna save the funicular ride for tomorrow and we'll take that up and I'll show you that statue that has a great story. So I'm gonna go back to my hotel now and uh, take a little break and probably come back out tonight and show you guys some of the festivities in the square. I think we know I'll probably have to buy one of these before I leave. Ah, uh, back to my room. And my room is there. Let's head out to Jardine Union and See what's going on, see the festivities. take that party mobile and they're gonna basically walk around the streets and perform up and down the streets and they're gonna have like a hundred tourists following them. Maybe me. So now the whole crowd's gathered around because those people are all gonna be uh, on that paid tour walking around. That's how it's done. Look at that. Great statue, I love it. That's right, I came back for the bulke again. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna call it a night. Until tomorrow, 
Have a great night, guys. We'll see you all then. Goodbye. Or, uh, adios. Maybe it's